Okay, so I'm gonna run through two really quick examples of how you can add Instagram Reels into your Squarespace site. There's gonna be one version where you can drop them in like this and they'll have kind of all the Instagram stuff around it. Um, and then we'll show you a slightly slicker example where you can add in these kind of custom carousels that play in the page and, and you can swipe between them um, rather than this experience. And obviously on mobile, that will stack on top of each other. Um, so to do it with the Instagram, the classic Instagram embed, it's pretty simple. We jump across to Instagram, find the reel that you want to post to embed on your site click embed, you can then remove the caption or you can include it, copy embed code. And then if we, let's add a new section, add a block, and then you're gonna go embed. If you just try to embed the link, it won't really work. So you need to use this embed method, switch across the code snippet, paste your embed in there. And then you will have your video. If I save and then exit that, you'll see your video there. So then you can also add in a bunch next to each other and that will build out a little bit of a kind of carousel or grid on your homepage. But then on mobile, it's not gonna look great because it's gonna take up loads of the page. So I'll really quickly show you how you can do this with Kipara to do the carousel that I showed you before. So. We're going to use Clipara. It's really simple. We're going to create a new campaign. We're going to make it on site. I'm going to do inline so the videos play in line in the page, but there are other ones where the video pops up into full screen experience. So inline, we're going to let's grab this Instagram reel that we want to use. Sorry, let's go back to Clipara. And let's add a video, toggle across to Instagram, and you can connect your Instagram account so you can pull all your videos in um, in one go and, and keep them updated. Or you can just paste in the link here, click upload. Um, and that's cool that surfing, give that a name. And then to create this carousel, we're just going to choose all of the videos that we want in that carousel. Let's use these and create the campaign. We're then gonna make a new widget. Once you've designed a widget, you can reuse that layout lots of times. But let's create a new widget. And for the inline example, there's just a carousel, but again, on the other styles, you can use grids and stories and lots of other different layouts. So let's call this Squarespace. space. Um, and so then you've got lots of options here for customizing. So we can change the number of videos. We can switch it to an overlap and it will stretch to fill the page. Let's move the navigation, change the navigation buttons a little bit, move them to the bottom. Um, lots of different ways that you can customize this. Let's round the corners off, change the play style. And there. Let's say we're happy with that customization click save you're then going to get an install snippet grab that install snippet get it back across to squarespace add a section add a blank section and then we're going to do a similar method to what we did with instagram reel switch across to code snippet paste it in and then if we just drag this so that it takes up the full width of the page. There we go. Save and exit. We've now got that carousel that we created before that plays in the page and swipe between different videos. You can mute, unmute them. And then if we switch to mobile and just refresh from mobile, then you'll see you have this, um, this swipeable 
mobile carousel that's really slick on the mobile version of your site. And that's it. It's really, really quick and simple.